I think if there's one thing you need to know about microbicides that people should realize is that, that it's a real technology with a real possibility of working. Uh, there are not huge technology hurdles to it. Uh, so if we throw enough money and enough brain power at it, I think we'll have a microbicide. Um, and the second point I'd like to make is that there's a tendency uh, on, on the funder's part, on the public's part, to think about either or situations, zero sum games, vaccine or microbicide, rectal or vaginal, all these things. And that's the wrong way to be thinking about this. Every one of these technologies needs to be developed. Um, I think it's really exciting, the progress we've seen in the vaginal microbicide development community. It's, it's, it's wonderful. But I think the time has arrived for the biomedical prevention community and specifically the microbicide community to really embrace the development of rectal microbicides. Certainly to um, uh, classify their safety profile, but also to actually develop specific um, rectal microbicides for use by individuals, both men and women, who practice anal sex. If I had one thing to say about microbicides is that if it weren't a plausible thing and if it weren't a necessary thing, I don't think we would have gotten as far as we've gotten with so little. I think there's a lot of belief, there's a lot of need, and I honestly think we can do this. I'm really excited that this conference has taken microbicides so seriously. I think it's an incredible moment for those of us who have advocated for years and years for microbicides. But I think that at this opportunity, we, we can't sit still right now. We have an opportunity to really make something of it. And with 13 million infected women and 6,600 people getting infected every day in Africa, I think there's absolutely no time for sitting on our laurels. And so we have to take this opportunity to move forward the field even more rather than clap and pat ourselves on the back and think, okay, we've done a lot of work here. When we talk about time to deliver, we need to specifically say, what are we going to deliver on? Are we going to do, so that in two years time, when we come to Mexico, we can say specifically that we have delivered on X, Y, and Z. We know exactly what we wanted to deliver on and we can account for that. Our work with the HIV Vaccine Trials Network is driven by a commitment to make sure that as vaccines are developed that they are applicable and that they are effective in terms of all communities because indeed the african-american community and its disproportionate impact that's being had in that community right now is something that we have to be responsive to and that we have to address in a forthright manner so we're trying to make sure that as vaccines are developed that they work for all people in all communities around the world